Hey everybody, in today's lesson I'm going to show you uh, some tips and tricks on how you can sound like Greg Ginn from Black Flag. It's going to be based off of uh, like earlier Black Flag stuff like uh, the Damage record. And um, before I begin, remember to like this video and subscribe. I'll be posting new videos every week. And here we go. Alright, so for a lot of Greg Ginn's uh, music, he uses a solid state style amp with a lot of distortion and probably cranked pretty loud um, because it gets a lot of feedback in, in like muted spots and uh, stuff like that. So uh, yeah, solid state amp, um, you wanna put like the presence like all the way up, um, decent amount of bass and treble, not a lot of mids. And um, I use the bridge pickup on my guitar. And so one of the first things he does in his playing, in the rhythm playing, is he uses uh, power chords and then he'll use these kind of muted harmonics in between. So uh, here's an example. So you're just playing the power chord, and then you're raising your hands off the fretboard, so you can get that chunk of chunk of sound. And you, if you're not familiar with playing like that, you kind of have to get the right amount of pressure so that you get that kind that harmonic sound. The yeah, kind of high pitch sound. Um, you'll need like a decent amount of distortion and um, like you can you can use like feedback and stuff too. Like if you get real close to the amp, that's kind of what he does. It's like that real overdriven sound. Um, so like in uh, like Rise Above, it kind of goes like that. So yeah, just prep work with that. And you can even go up and down the fretboard. Another thing that Greg Ginn used, does a lot are um, the Chuck Berry style bends. So uh, in this example, we'll do it in E on the 12th fret and bridge your finger over the B and E string. And then use your ring finger to push at the 14th fret of the uh, G string. So like, for example, like if you're playing that E chord, power chord, four, then Greg Ann will play like over top of that. If it's like a progression, like it could be like, he might go up following each chord. Um, and um, I mean, that's a common thing that a lot of guitar players do. The way Gin does it is, is again, bridging. Um, and instead of like a more traditional rock and roll way. Um, so yeah, practice those. And then another thing he'll probably, he'll add on top of that is, um, so he'll play maybe that, those bends. And then he'll do like kind of make maybe a, a descending pattern off of that that kind of hits these off, off um, key notes. Um, so like you, he'll play within the minor pentatonic to a certain extent, but then add these, these kind of out of key notes in there. So for example, it kind of sounds like something like this. And then it kind of, it kind of like trails off or he'll like not strongly pick the notes. So it'll kind of get that kind of like sound in there, uh, similar to how you, uh, he does the rhythm. So again, something similar would be like And just kind of trails off and it's kind of randomly picking notes back and forth. Um, and um, uh, that's something he uses in a lot of his leads, not only in a descending pattern, but also in like an ascending pattern. So maybe he'll do something, he'll do something like walk his way up and it, it sounds pretty random usually he'll start in the key that the that the song's in and then just kind of goes gradually out of key and just kind of just random notes with that alternate picking so like let's say um let's say we're this the the key was b it might start like and work his way up out of key um, and then the last kind of tip and trick that Greg Ginn does in his leads is he'll do like these kind of out of key bends. So like maybe you'll start off with something like, and then again that kind of random alternate picking. So with these bends, maybe at the, the beginning, at the end, or halfway through. Um, 
again, like again, that's just something you kind of have to like listen to his music and get a feel for how he would play that. But it's usually like kind of like as a fill, like you might play like a chord and then go and play like some kind of some type of out of key fill with these heavy bends. So again, you're gonna just kind of pull. Like, the the bends are typically not like a half step or a or a full step. They're like over a full step, in between, just kind of out of key. So that's it for this lesson. Um, if you like this video, remember to like it and subscribe on YouTube. I will be posting new videos every week, and I'll see you guys next time.